everyone, welcome to the Bola Bola Show. We are here at KLFA Stadium. Not entirely to watch a game. We are here actually because KLCD have decided to have a meet the fan session. So we decided that, you know, let's come here, me and my wife, because it's a good opportunity to get to know the players, to meet them in person. And of course, at the same time, wish them well, because the FA Cup final is about one week from now. new outfit here. I'm also ready for the final. But in the meantime, let's go meet the players. Okay, we've been just briefed about what is the event all about. It's a free and easy event. There is no sort of itinerary or no sort of uh, protocol. You're allowed to speak to the players. You're allowed to mingle around. Now we're waiting for the queue to go in and let the party begin. you a very simple question. Yes, sir. What's your feeling now that you're representing Malaysia international football? Well, I am very happy, very proud to be part of the Hari Mama. Mm -hmm. uh, I just hope to keep uh, coming, keeping, uh, uh, keeping calling me to go there to help. Mm -hmm. uh, we always uh, wish the best for the team, for the players, uh, the, the national team players, so we just hope to if we have some good results, so far everything is okay, but we know there is a lot of challenge uh, up front. What's your feeling like in next week's game? Are you ready to no. nervous or it's just another game for you? How do you manage these kind of feelings when it's going into special games? I'm not nervous at all. Okay. Because at the end, is everybody expects them to win, am I right? Mm -hmm. They have best facilities, they have best team, most expensive, biggest budget. That is the we can just we can just win. If you lose, everybody says this one is expected. So only thing is if you win, it will be fantastic. Okay. In like 2021. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. All the best. Okay. No problem. feeling like going to next week's game against ADT? Yeah, of course, we have a match tomorrow. It's uh, more important, but it's also good preparation for the But uh, we always feel good, you know, you know, the final is always special. But today, like, uh, it's, it's not easy to reach final, and uh, when you reach, it's something necessary. And uh, I think uh, the most important thing is to enjoy it because uh, it's not easy, uh, every player can play every time. behind here all the fans and the players are all mingling together it's been a surreal experience to be honest I mean I've never been in this kind of situation before seeing the fans happiness players themselves with their positive look it says a lot about what this club is trying to strive for both on and off the pitch kudos to KL City for organizing this okay so this is the first time we did something like this basically Shamim is the one who asked for that we want to thanks for all of you coming for the matches Supporting us when it's not only good, when it's bad also, because then we need more support. When it's good, then it's very easy, then you're flying high, but when it's bad, when heads are down, then you need more support. We hope that you are happy that after 30 years something happening in this club, and we hope that this will continue like that, but this is just beginning, and we hope that we will win in Jova. Doesn't matter how difficult it is, but we will try our best to win. Nobody believed 2021, nobody believed last year, but nobody believed now. So we always surprise somehow. Maybe very lucky thing. 
I've loved it. I've loved it. Um, obviously, we have a, a small, like, kind of family fan base to our club, you know. Um, but everybody's welcomed me with open arms, and it's been really, really, really nice. Like, even today, of course. But I feel, I feel lucky. I've, I've bounced around a lot of countries and a lot of clubs, and played football in every different continent. And I've never felt a place like here where. The camaraderie in our change room is unbelievable. So, very, very grateful this last three years. So if I could say one word to sum it all up, the success and everything as well, but just really, really grateful to have had it alongside these fans, but also this group of boys. Is there any one particular Malaysian food that is your favorite right now? Oh my gosh, man. It's one, <laughs> one, there's about 25. <laughs> but um, right now, me and my wife have an obsession with Popia Basa. Yeah, because okay. you know we we love like market food, but obviously right. uh, it's not always the healthiest. Do you know where's the best popia basa? There's one in Disney um, Sisters. Sisters popia. Disney Sisters popia. Yeah, that one. I, I I promise you, maybe three times a week I eat it. So good. But then are we allowed to record this? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So if the, anybody, the owner of the company, if you see this, if you want to reach out to me, I'd love to be an ambassador. I eat your food, I think, four times a week. All right, Stanley, since you're becoming CEO of KL, what are the changes have you seen since you particular job? Well, I think firstly it was a minor woman the kind of situation from day one. Um, challenges were there, but you, you just got to identify what are the most important priorities you want to take a club to speak languishing, floating between Premier League, FAM Cup, and so on. So I think what what is habits habits create culture. And so what I'm really proud of today, what you see is a bunch of top characters in the dressing room, uh, led by Boy and Buddha. They have shown what it is with the limits, the limitations we have daily, which is quite uh, openly out there. Um, what you can do when you have the right uh, ingredients in the dressing room to go and succeed against all odds, keep the fine odds. The first year when we won, I think people could term it as a one-year wonder. Second year when you go to Asia level, number two in Asia, uh, that shows already a certain level of depth that very few could still fathom. And third year going to a third final. Actually, I would say fourth, because we're winning the Southeast Asian Cup final if you want. I think the boys have just shown what it is when um, everyone comes together. There's a lot of things that need to come together for a club like this to succeed. And I think that, that what is the fundamental of that is actually, I think it's the right culture. That everyone wants to turn up in the morning, train for Boyan, train for the club because they love what they do. When you love what you do, I think everything becomes a bit more brighter despite the limitations we have. Okay, now we're inside the waiting uh, dressing room. Players take the shower. That's the massage table. And then here, here are the players sit down, relax, here and I get ready for game day. It's pretty interesting, isn't it, right? Okay, in case you want to know if there is a diehard KL supporter out there, you can pick one. It's this guy here, Nizam. 
<laughs> so, what's your feeling like uh, for your club doing this? Playing the place, playing with the fans? I feel overwhelmed. I feel happy. I feel like sebab. Uh, because you know, when you talk about KL, when you speak about KL, people always you know, talk, say that. So you see what's happening today? That's something that I feel very overwhelmed because I see many KL fans. For KL fans, this is many. Like, I consider this is many plus. It's a last minute uh, event. Uh, it's not announced uh, publicly. So even yeah, it's about it's it's today. Yeah, on a weekday, on a Friday, right? On a Friday, on the working day. Friday and KL is not something very good. You know, people coming back from work, yeah. jam. So see, probably the 60 people here is very, very <coughs> something. And I, I hope this is not the last time KL will do this because I always wanted. Something like this to happen because it helps the team, it helps the player to be connected to the fans. You can see how the fans, the kids, even the adults, they feel closer to the players because it's not good if they don't have this kind of event. You can't be like the fans being a different entity to the team. The fans is the 12th player, so they need this kind of event to be closer to the players, and players need to know that. We all, all the fans have their back. No matter what, this is KL. The good times, the bad times, we are always here. Please do more events like this. Well, that's all from today's at the Bola Bola show. Thanks for watching. Special thanks, I must say, is to KL City and of course to my wife for making it possible that we attend this event today. And of course, shout out to my man Shamin because he put a lot of effort persuading the management and a lot to make this happen. So, you know, we, we, we are so grateful and thankful to him as well. All right, folks, hope you enjoy the show. Please subscribe, give us your support. Till the next vlog, goodbye.